Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this, welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are reviewing women in agriculture. Now this is our last topic review video for unit 5, but it's not the end of the unit. Don't forget, when we're done with this video, you'll want to head over to my ultimate review packet and check out my unit 5 summary video. It summarizes all of the important concepts that you need to know for this unit. I know I talk about the ultimate review packet all the time, but it has study guides for each unit, answer keys, practice practice tests, practice quizzes, tips and tricks for each unit, and much more. It's a great resource that'll definitely help you rock not only your class, but the AP National Exam in May. Now today we can see that women around the world are gaining more economic, political, and social opportunities. As countries continue to develop and advance in the demographic transition model, women start to gain more opportunities in society. However, countries that lag behind in their economic development often tend to have more traditional gender roles in place, which often places women in roles that are part of the informal economy. The informal economy consists of jobs that are not regulated or monitored by the government. To better understand the development of a society and to gain insight into women and the opportunities that exist in society for them, we can look at the Gender Inequality Index. This index measures reproductive health, empowerment, and labor market participation to illustrate the amount of inequality and equality in a country. Countries that have a lower GII have less inequality between genders in society. And countries that have a higher GII have more inequality between the different genders. Today, if we look at regions such as Southwest Asia or Sub-Saharan Africa, we can still see inequality between genders and see that women often still make up a large percentage of the agricultural workforce. Countries that are less economically developed traditionally tend to have more traditional cultural norms and gender roles for women. These roles Roles often have been in place for many years and are well established in society. Oftentimes, these cultural norms will limit the opportunities that different individuals in a country have. We can see this noted, for example, in India, where around three-fourths of all women workers in rural India are in agriculture, and many more contribute to it through their unpaid activity, even though their work is not officially or statistically recognized. Now, as countries develop and move further down the demographic transition model, they start to allow more opportunities opportunities for women in society. Society also starts to see changes in the production of goods and services, since more people have access to money and capital. As society develops and changes, agricultural production shifts as well. Farms start to utilize new machinery, which reduces the amount of human labor needed for production, thus resulting in a lower agricultural density for society. Economic growth also leads to increased rates of urbanization, as more jobs open up in the secondary sector and the tertiary sector which allows citizens to participate in new ways in the economy. But even with all of these changes, we still often see women working with agricultural products and in industries with lower paying jobs. Now, as society continues to develop, we continue to see more and more opportunities for women. However, many traditional gender roles and stigmas still linger. Women are still pushing for equal representation and opportunities in the workforce, political offices, and their own communities. Unfortunately, today we can see that many less economic developed countries around the world still have women in the informal economy with little political and social protection. Today, women in less economically developed countries are also more likely to be malnourished as caloric intake is often prioritized for the men. Women in these areas are also less likely to have political representation and may not even be able to own land. But as countries develop both economically and socially, we start to see women gain political and social opportunities in society. Be able to participate more in the formal economy, gain different legal protections, and see land ownership for women increase. Plus, when countries allow women to have a more active role in society, they tend to see higher economic growth and a higher standard of living for all people in the society. All right, geographers, now comes the time to practice what we have learned. When you are done, don't forget to head over to my ultimate review packet and check out the Unit 5 summary video. Again, you'll also find exclusive videos to help you with your AP Human Geography Studies, review packets, practice quizzes, and all the other resources for each unit of AP Human Geography. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.